Hello, this is Broyer, and welcome back to another episode of our Let's Play for uh, Farming Simulator 22 as we continue our Start from Scratch run here on Bally Spring. Uh, we got everything Wind Road and, uh, well, Tedded, then Wind Road, I should say. Uh, so now we've got to get the bailing done. If I can make it inside the very wide gate, this is probably the widest gate on the map, and yet I somehow still failed to make it through. Got the baler set to 150 centimeters. Um, I'm going to try to make that my default from now on. 125 is pretty small. 180 is fine for hay. And I could set it to 180 for here. But it does not work for silage. So I'm just going to get used to the 150 size. And be pretty happy with that, I think. So turn on baler. Turn on automatic drop. Lower pickup. Unfortunately, these contracts are not worth near as much as the silage, but they're still worth a decent chunk of money. I actually wish we could use uh, square balers for some of this stuff because uh, square balers are continuous. They just keep spitting stuff out the back and you keep moving forward, which is really nice. Is there a square bale for silage? I don't think there is, is there? Actually, I'm now I'm curious. <laughs> but instead of thinking about it, I'm like, you know what? It would be very easy to check. Uh, Bailers. Okay, so. Um, let's see. How do we know which ones have the roof silage? There we go, silage. I see it on the top right hand corner. So that's round. That's round. Oh, I see. Okay, never mind. I see the silage symbol, actually. I mean, there's no, I mean, there's definitely plenty of silage things. Um, obviously that one's, you know, nice. And the good thing about this one is that it will make the next bale while it's wrapping. So it's a little bit faster. You have one part processing while the other parts um, doing its thing. What is this? Oh, this is stationary. Oh, really? And it could take a silage additive tank. So I could just dump grass in this thing. Right? Like, is that how that works? That's interesting. Okay. I mean, obviously this one's basically the same thing. Just can do this double sizes, just two different sizes. That is interesting. Okay. Might have to take a look at that at some point down the road. That's a long ways away. I might have to take a look at this sometime on the road. Um, now, we can make square bales. So, the, the, I guess the other question would be, is there a square bale? Okay, there is. A square bale wrapper. This one can do square bales. Okay. So, there is an option for that in form, some form or fashion. I know this one does like the, 
the big long uh, chain of them. This one, what is this attached to? It's can attach to a front loader or a telehand. Okay. Interesting. I hadn't really looked at these. Uh, was it Gowell? Govell? Something like that? I haven't looked at these before. Um, there's another square one as well. So there's a, there are some square options. Um, which we might have to look at too at some point down the road. I'm fast. Oh, I just paid another loan on my, my tractor. No, that's all right. I'm sitting here talking. Um, the, um, I mean, it'll technically get paid for, you know, through all of the contracts we're doing, but still not a shame to have to pay some extra. What I was going to say is, um, I don't remember suddenly. And it must not have been important. The other good thing about square bales is I think they probably fit on the trailer a little bit more efficiently. Although, we're already getting way, way down with uh, the current set of bales that we're running. So, even if we could stack more, it might not be able to, the, track, the pickup truck might not be able to handle them. Of course, if we got a tractor, then some of that becomes irrelevant because the tractor can handle it. All right, I'm going to go ahead and move over to the next field. I will bring you guys back when I'm ready to start transporting. All right, we're back. Done with all the bailing. Time to get some transportation done. Should have time for a couple more contracts uh, on this for this month, so hopefully we can get the silage one done for for this guy, and maybe the hay one done for Tom McKnight.
It's another dog in the middle of a field for no reason. Some maps have deer. This map has dogs. Oh, I think we're only going to be able to put four bells on this, aren't we? I was hoping we'd be able to get six. Mm, don't think it'll fit another one. That's going to be a... That's a shame, because that'll take a lot longer. Actually, I guess I should have done the 180s. Yeah, I should have done the 180s. Lesson learned. I think we should get us a semi truck and a bigger trailer, but I don't know if a bigger trailer would be able to fit through some of these these gaps or a longer one specifically. Because some of these you, you have to make some really tight turns, and this might be the extent of what we can run for the rest of the game. Now, if we owned our own field, we can get rid of some of the gates, fences, and hedgerows, so we can make bigger gaps for ourselves, I suppose. First field is going to finish our contracts for us. And then all the rest of the hay will be just for us. Unfortunately, hay does not sell for a lot of money. So we're going to have to make one, two, three, four, one, two, two more trips, looks like, maybe.
Passing lane. Go, 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 go. Oh, he's turning. Oh, <laughs> I need to see your blinker, my friend. Not quite done with that. Field 94, but I think, like I said, one more, one more load will finish that. All right, make sure we don't have any other bells hiding around somewhere. I don't think so. I think it's just these last four. Suppose in retrospect, I could have used the uh, contract trailer for the, these fields. Although, I mean, it is a bigger tractor than we normally get from the contracts. I don't know if it's quite big enough to hold that mower. But if it was, we could have saved ourselves a couple thousand bucks from the lease renewal. Oh, so close. Basically finished all three contracts with that. Just one bail away. And that next bail will not even... Not all of it will be used for the contract. We'll be able to sell some of the next bill. All right. Well, I'm going to go ahead and put a cut in there. Well, a cut in there. I skip in there. I'll be right back once we get done transporting all this stuff. All right. We're back. Just bringing our last load of hay to the drop-off point. And then we are good to turn all these in and keep moving on.
And that is that. Alright, let's go to... Oh, I just realized I accidentally opened the door. Go. How do I close the door? Why is the door open? How <laughs> do I close the door? Oh, do I have to actually start the... I have to start the engine to close the door? That's actually kind of funny. Alright, there we go. Um, let's go... Okay, let's turn these in real quick, and then we will figure out what we're going to do next. $469,000 for furniture. That's insane. Um, get these all turned in. Collect, collect, and collect. And then we'll find us another contract. There's Tom McKnight Hay, which we'll save for last, I guess, if we have time. And there's Seamus. Oh, we got another hay one for... Well, I didn't see that one before. Huh. Okay. Well, we will do that one. I want to make sure there's no others. Usually they're together, so I don't expect any. Okay. We'll do the, we'll do the silage one because it's going to be worth more. And then we'll circle back for the hay one probably. Again, I would go ahead and just accept both, but I need to borrow the tether. Um, and there's there's just not enough room in the uh, in the shop for. Um, where am I going? Sorry, I lost for a second. Uh, there's not enough room in the shop for the um, for both contracts worth of equipment. So we're actually, we doing this. We're doing this field right here that we're just now driving through. Had I known that, I would have kept the mower over here. I mean, I suppose another option is we could just buy our own tether and because they're pretty cheap and go from there. There's a little, oh, that's the, no, I thought that was when we gave back, but no, we, we never had that one. Um, yeah, I mean, it's an option. How much does a tether cost? Tether. It's very cheap. Yeah, that might be the right option because we just, we need one anyway, right? At some point. What's a good size one? I mean, I don't need 11.2 millimeters. Honestly, I think this 8.7 meters is probably pretty good. One of these two actually would probably be pretty, pretty okay. Yeah, I mean, either one. I might just go for the 9 meter, 500 bucks more for, you know, a little bit, little bit wider. I think that would be okay. Let's go for this 11. Yeah, 11.2 I think is just more than we need. All right, let's go ahead and just buy this. I mean, we're going to need it. We absolutely need it at some point, right? So, we're just going to go ahead and buy this and be happy that now we can go ahead and do this. We'll come in here and we will um, grab your contract. Now, we have everything for Tom McKnight's contract, which is also hay, except for the baler itself. Oh, and the wind world. Never mind. Okay. So, we are missing a couple pieces for his. We'll have to say his for later. I, I must have just gone right past it while I was talking. There it is. So we will just accept this contract. We will not need to um, borrow items because we have we have the uh, baler, we have the wind rower, and we obviously have the mower and tractor. So that'll work. That way we can just knock those both out at the same time. I'm assuming they're very close to each other. They are very close to each other. So I'm glad that we did that. Look at that tiny little tractor that they were going to have us use.
So our little little group of uh, equipment is starting to come together a bit, you know? We're getting there. Oh, I hate that wind rower. Look at that. Look at that thing. I oh that's that's not a good one. <laughs> I mean you have to go up one side and down the other, and those are never fun. I mean, do I there's no way I do a wind rower too, is there? How much does that cost us? Um like the one I like is this one, right? It's not that much. Yeah, that one's a little bit wide for this the size size of fills that we're gonna be doing. And these are just kind of expensive, to be honest. I mean, we, we don't need to pay that much money for them. Yeah, honestly, this one is probably just the perfect size for us. You know what? We're going to need it. We're going to need all of this stuff at some point. Unless we ever swap to a mower that had the wind rower attached. But no, let's just let's grab this. We've got some money. This is a step in the positive direction of what we're going to be needing. And it means I can avoid using the wind rower that would annoy, <laughs> annoy me to no end. So I think that's fine. Yes, we still need a tractor. In fact, we will uh, pretty much need a tractor really, really soon because this mower that we have is obviously too big for any of the contract tractors. Now we could just go back to using the contract mowers, I suppose, but I don't know if that's what we want to do. All right, let me get this contract, th these two contracts mowed at least, and uh, I'll probably bring you guys back in the next episode when we're a bit further along. But I do appreciate you guys watching. May God bless you, and I hope you join me again next time. Thank you, and goodbye. I wanted to give a special shout out to the following channel members. Thank you so much for supporting the channel.